Welcome to 7 Spooky Things in Space. At number 1 we have the Hand of God. If Thanos had a Batman symbol, this probably would be it. The Hand of God is a cloud of gas in the southern constellation Circinus. This 150 light year wide cloud of gas was created by a supernova explosion around 19,000 years ago. Here we can see particles from the remaining spinning pulsar interacting with the magnetic fields within the nebula causing it to glow with X-rays. This image was taken with NASA's New Star and Chandra X-ray telescopes, so currently not one for us amateurs to try an image. But don't worry folks, as soon as X-ray telescopes become available, I'll pop them in the affiliate links below. Number 2. The Ghost Nebula This really couldn't have any other name. The ghost-like figures are even animated in stereotypical ghost-like poses. The two light year across molecular cloud which forms this spooky nebula is situated 1200 light years away in the constellation Cepheus. This NASA astronomy picture of the day was captured by Bogdan Jarzina on the 26th of October 2020, so congratulations to Bogdan on your well deserved APOD, it's both spooky as hell and impressive in equal measures. Number 3. The Flaming School Nebula Situated in the constellation Serpens, the Flaming School Nebula is an ancient planetary nebula thought to be around 45,000 years old. Planetary nebula have nothing to do with planets whatsoever which is a little confusing. They just appeared round like planets to early astronomers and the name kinda stuck. In fact they are stars like our own sun, but much older and nearing the end of their life. When stars near the end of their life they become unstable and throw out shells of gas which then glow with the radiation from their remnant white dwarf star. This glowing reveals all sorts of structure to us back on Earth. In this case, it's a scary screaming skull on fire. Number 4 The Witch Head Nebula. Resembling the side profile of a fairy tale witch, this faint reflection nebula is situated in the constellation of Orion, a mere 900 light years from Earth. As you can see, the Witch Head Nebula glows a distinct bluey white colour. This effect is created not only by reflected light from the blue supergiant star Rigel, but also from reflected light off dust grains. Our very own sky on Earth appears blue for the same reason. Dust grains reflect blue light more efficiently compared to other wavelengths. Number 5. Saturn's Moon Mimas Mimas is remarkable for two reasons. It's the smallest object found to be spherical under its own gravity in the solar system, and perhaps more sinisterly, it looks like the flipping Death Star from Star Wars. Mimas measures 396 kilometers or 246 miles across and is composed mainly of water ice with just a little rock. The crater responsible for its Death Star appearance measures 130 kilometers or 81 miles across. The impact that created it must have nearly smashed Mimas apart. The resulting shockwave even created fractures on the other side of Mimas. The Voyager probe first imaged Mimas in detail when it passed by back in 1980. This was some time after Star Wars hit our screens that the Death Star's similarity must be a pure coincidence. Number 6. The Iris Nebula Back in 2013 I took this image of the Iris Nebula using a Skywatcher ED-80 and a Canon 500D. The Iris Nebula is a 6 light year across reflection nebula, 1300 light years away in the constellation Cepheus. The abundance of dark interstellar dust combined with the devilishly red star Mu Cephei nearby give the image a dramatic yet slightly sinister look. Number 7. The Skull and Crossbones feature I found on the moon. Last year I was imaging the moon with a 5 inch reflector when I spotted what looks like a skull shape with a cross shaped ridge below it. I still don't know if this feature has an official name or not or if it's a result of, you know, space pirates, but I definitely think it's a little spooky. What do you guys think? That concludes this year's look at some spooky space objects. If you guys enjoyed that, I'll try and find some more spooky objects for next year. Until then, have a great Halloween, consider subscribing for more astronomy and imaging content, affiliate links below for first light optics, take care and be safe, and tell those clouds to sod off.